All right, so this is a review for the 2013 Hyperdunks. Um, these ones I've had for about three months. I've only played them maybe three or four times. Um, so far, I've liked them. Uh, most of the playing I've done with them has been on uh, pavement. Not a whole lot of indoor play. But uh, so far, I've liked them. Um, they've got pretty good cushion in them. Uh, cushion in them and uh, good ankle support which I like in my shoes um, they lace up pretty high which is good um, the uh, only downfall or thing that I don't really like about them is that they have this fly wire stuff um, going on and I've just noticed lately they've been doing that a lot more with their shoes um, they just they lace it up and enter, they incorporate it into their part of the eyelet here, which I don't really like, because um, on some of the other shoes I've had with that, uh, they tend to break really easily, which is stupid. I mean, like within the first month or so that I have them, um, just because of this sawing motion that you get when I tighten up my shoes. I mean, I like my shoes really tight, and I'm a bigger guy. And I'm pretty tough on my shoes, so I don't know, maybe different for you, but uh, I mean, you can just see right there. I mean, if you do that 500 times and you're just sawing on that fly wire and you're, it's the sweat and everything, it just frays and it's shitty and annoying. Um, so that's the one thing I don't really like about that. I know on some models, they, they do this. They put this like kind of waxy, tougher material, but they go up higher on it. Which seems to help, I don't know, but uh, just not a big fan really of it. Uh, I know on some of their older models they've done just plastic, uh, they just put a plastic liner around in the eyelet hole, which helps to keep from breaking the eyelets. I guess, I don't know if they're doing this flywire stuff to help prevent that, but it's kind of just defeating the purpose, I don't know. Um, so yeah, don't really like that. But, um, like I said, I've only played in these ones like four or five times, so I don't know how they're going to hold up um, in the long run. But, um, they also have good, nice, uh, tough material on the toe, which I like, because I drag my feet a lot. Um, and uh, I know on some of their other model, other shoes, they have this, and uh, it's held up pretty well that's another thing I think they've been doing well is um, designing the toe better to withstand uh, what, what the hell is that to withstand toe dragging so I like that um, one thing I don't really like so far is these tend to run a little big uh, a little long um, but width wise they're pretty good um, I wear a size 13 and I've got a pretty wide foot um, these guys like I said, they run a little long, which is kind of annoying. I don't know. Um, usually in the LeBrons, I wear 13s, and um, they're a little small. So Nike's just been doing some weird stuff with their shoes lately. I don't know why they do that. Uh, one of my other videos, I compared this one with like the... 10s, the LeBron 10s, I believe, and it was like a 14, the LeBron was a 14, and this is a 13, and they're like almost the exact same size. So, uh, yeah, these guys, they run a little long for a 13, um, but it hasn't really, I mean, hasn't really made a difference so far. But, uh, and I like my shoes a little on the short side. But uh, other than that, I mean, so far so good. I'll probably do another video here at the end of the term, so like in two or three months, once I get some more playing time on, in on them, and uh, I will post another video um, just to show how well they've held up and what, uh, what else I think of them.